Ah, uh, back to some good old Minecraft. It's been a few days. Indeed it has. Uh, well, the wait can be... Oh, one second. Ah, much better. Sorry, there was something there. The wait for the videos can be easily, easily explained. I had to get a few teeth pulled. And yes, they were wisdom teeth. For anyone who sh shares my pain and experience, it wasn't pleasant, and I couldn't talk for a few days. And then by the time I could talk, I had band camp. Oh boy, band camp. So, that's why there haven't been a whole lot of videos going on. So, sorry about that. And I'll just continue going along what I was doing. And what was funny is the administrator of my server, um, he was going to have a server party because he's going away to college. So he invited everyone to go. And the date was the day after I got my teeth pulled. And what I found funny is he got his teeth pulled two days before I got mine. Like the same wisdom teeth. All four of them. So, Luckily... In a few days, he's going to be having another party for the people who missed it, which is me and one of my other friends. And they had this cake that had, um, I think they said it had the entire server map on it. So, they, um, left me a piece of cake that had my city on it, which will be in the movie, and it's a pretty big part of the movie, actually, so... Yeah. And I said I was going to create the, my 100th video quite some time ago during that party, but he couldn't get the online version er, it to work online. He could only get it to work on LAN, so I couldn't do anything about it. Which makes me kind of sad, but oh well. So let's see here. That's going to be a floor there. Yeah, I think this looks nice. This is going to look really nice. Um, I'm just going to guess on how to get down. I could just fall. So yeah, the 100th video will not come out for just a little bit. It will include footage of my Minecraft server, but not a whole lot of it, because I don't want anything to really be spoiled for the movie. Ah, hello, squids. Oh, I thought I saw clay down there. Got plenty of clay. Lots of clay, in fact. I could actually use the brick for some of this. But I really don't want to run out. Um, I want to make a map, too. So as soon as I can get some paper... 60, 64, 64, 64. Aw, oh, darn it. Almost had enough for a stack of it. Oh well. Three extra. No, wait. Four. Okay. And one less brick. Oh well. Um. Yellow, that means I need more red dye. There we go. Let's see, Ooh, nope, not that. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, duh. Uh. Oh, well. Can work on that a bit later. Anything else to really cook? No. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see, I need a compass. That's, I need redstone for that. Wish I would have picked up some redstone in that one cave. Actually, need torches. 
Who'd have thought that? I also need to get down to the nether sometime. There we go. Cool. So yeah, band camp. It's quite fun. Eight o'clock in the morning. No, nine o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night. What was? Hmm. Well, it was fun. Our school is doing some Irish music. Forget. Ooh. Where are you? There you are. Doing some Irish songs, if I can remember. Gal, this is for like people that know music and do some band. Uh, we're doing Galway Par Par Galway Piper, Irish Party in Third Class, and Danny Boy. So, just saying. If you see an awesome marching grant marching band in green playing those songs look for me I'm not sure I really want to see you but just saying just saying just super saying I also got my driving permit the other day so I'm getting there. I'm getting better at driving the old stick. That'll be interesting to start driving that around. I know it'll be very useful for next year's band camp. So I can carry around the big instruments with me. Yeah, go band. And it's over now, so I can get some sleep. And by some sleep, I mean have people spend the night and stay up until 6 in the morning playing on the Xbox. Although I have, like, no games for it. Except for the Scott Pilgrim game. I wonder if I'll do a Let's Play of that. My brother just bought that the other day. So... Not sure if I'll do a let's play of that or not. Oh, there went to pick. Uh, but I really want to get back on my server. It was funny the other night when I got back from band camp. I'm like, you know what? I'm going on the computer for a few hours before I go to bed because, like, I'll, I'll get back from at like 8:30 and I am pooped. If anyone else has ever been in marching band, you know it's tough. Especially in the blistering heat of summer. But I can live through it. And I said I was going to go on the server. And I had two things planned out. And I'm like, you know what? They just released information about um, Mushroom Hill Zone in Sonic Generations on the 3DS. I'm going to make Mushroom Hill Zone on Minecraft. And I get a bunch of leaves and a stack of logs, and I make one big tree in the middle of nowhere, and I say, I quit, let's go make a pyramid in the desert. So we went to made a pyramid in the desert. And we finished it in like two days, because we were mining sand, and it's another thing about our servers, we have a few different worlds, and we have this portal mod that... Like, you build a portal on ma out of a uh, material, material, and the bottom block has to be a diamond. And then you light it with a uh, watch. Er, and it creates a portal, and you just make another portal of the same material. And when you... Oh my gosh, iron! Really? It took that long to find it, and how far are we down? 22, yeah. Okay, anyway. So... There's a world called Desert Snow, which on the 
Um, see, the east side is a desert, and then there's this um, river dividing the two sections, and the other side is snow. So it's a bunch of snow blocks, and then the other one is a bunch of sand. So my, we started to dig out this little pit, and then my friend's like, oh, I'll, oh, finally some redstone. No, he didn't really say that. He said, oh, I have some TNT. We can use that. We sat there for about two hours, just dropping sand or dropping TNT down in this pit until we hit bedrock. And we got so much sand, and we finished the pyramid in like two nights. Especially since I was in band camp. But it's pretty awesome, and I haven't decided yet if I want that in the movie. Or maybe if I'll make a second movie and include that in it, because that might be cool. But I haven't decided yet. Seventeen, we're almost to diamond level. But I haven't been playing a whole lot of the 360 yet. Still need to get a few games. I've got just a bit of money. And I think I'm going to buy... Sonic Unleashed! It's such an awesome game. I might just buy that. So I have it on the Wii and on the PS2, so... Why not get it on the 360? I really want to play Empire City, because that wasn't on the Wii. For those of you guys that have a 360 that played Sonic Unleashed on it. Empire City is not on the Wii, and that was, like, the only level I was really looking forward to. Well, of course, a few other ones, like Rooftop Run and Windmill Valley, but... Empire City was where it's at. Although the music wasn't really good, but, yeah. <laughs> Depends on your opinion of music. Well, that's, uh, much more cobblestone that I could use. Oh. What level is that? Oh. That's nine, that's almost a bedrock. Um, so are there any caves anywhere? Hmm. Not really. Oh well. But. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to get Sonic Generations, because... I'm going to wait until the release date comes closer to to decide what I'm going to get it on, because there have been rumors that it'll be on the computer. I'm not sure if it'll be on Steam or not. So, if it's going to be on Steam, then I'm going to buy it. And if, or if it's on Steam, I'll buy it on Steam. If it's not, then... I'm just going to get on the 360. I think it will be easier to get on Steam, because one, I'm going to be playing the computer more than playing it on 360, because personally, I like computer gaming more than I like console gaming. I mean, sure, handhelds are wonderful and all, which Pokemon got me into the handheld. If it wasn't for Pokemon, I wouldn't have a 3DS right now. But So, it all depends on how stuff works out. So, if there's a game that's coming out on 360 that's not on the PS3 that I want, or if there's a game coming out on 360 that's not going to be on the PC that I want to get, then I'll get on the 360 and probably do a Let's Play of it. But... Yeah, two future Let's Plays to look forward to are... Oh, there's Bedrock, finally. Um, Sonic Generations, definitely, I'm going to be doing, because I am a big Sonic fan. Like, if you see my room, there's just too much Sonic stuff in it. Last time I went to Disney World this past year, the only th stuff I bought was Sonic the Hedgehog. And I have this huge wall scroll of Sonic hanging over my bed. It's not even funny. <sighs> you 
you know, just for the fun of it, I might release my, um, my 360 accounts in one of these videos sometime. I don't know when, though. Oh, darn it. I was gonna say what the future Let's Plays to look forward to. Definitely Sonic and Sonic Generations, and also look forward to um, Legend of Zel Zelda Skyward Sword, because my friend said he's going to be buying it, and I can't wait for that to come out, and I can't wait to play it, because I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan now, so I might be getting, I might buy that, because so far I have bought everything that's been released so far for the 25th anniversary, because there's Ocarina of Time that was, Ocarina of Time 3D that was released for the 25th anniversary, there was the soundtrack, which came with Ocarina of Time if you registered it, and I have that. There's Link's Awakening, which I got. And then apparently they're supposed to release Four Swords on the DSiWare for free. But I'm not sure when that comes out yet. So I'm going to wait on that. And I might buy a Skyward Sword for myself. I'm not sure. I mean, when I do the Let's Play, my friend is going to have it, and he's just going to bring it to my house, and we're going to play it on my Wii, but, well, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know, his siblings are as big as fans as he is, so I don't know how that'll work out with me taking their game, but, I don't know, maybe he could buy it and not tell them, hee <laughs> no, but I, I'm probably going to buy it just so I have all the stuff for the 25th anniversary, but, uh, this is the end of the episode. My mouth is actually starting to get a bit tired. It has been uh, eight days since the surgery where I got my teeth pulled, but... Um, holy creeper. But I I'm not going to be able to eat super solid foods for another few days or so. Because it, it, it was sad. Like The day I got my wisdom... Oh, I think I need another chest... The day I got my wisdom teeth pulled out, my family was eating fondue, and I couldn't eat any of it, and I was so angry. So, I might just ask for fondue when I'm able to eat again. So I can kind of eat, but not really. Well, this is where the episode ends. I'm going to organize a bit, put my cobblestone in here. See, I haven't met up any, uh, no, I'll just put blocks in there for now. I haven't really seen any dungeons yet, I'm surprised. I'm like the top dungeon seeker in my server, because, um, just recently I broke the record on the server for the most amount of dungeons found, and I have found 26 dungeons, I think it is, on our server, which is really cool. So I have like five stacks of mossy cobblestone in one of my chests in my city. So yeah, look forward to that 100th, uh, holy crap! Look forward to that 100th episode coming up here soon. There's a creeper at my door. They're going to stay there for a while, so... Might as well log out, or... Find a way to escape. Maybe actually start building the entrance, because it's, it's obviously going to come through here and go up, but it's a too wide. Anyway, anyway, stop talking. Um, this is the end of the episode, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.